We're announcing today uh, a joint travel advisory. New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut announcing Wednesday that visitors from states with high coronavirus infection rates must self-quarantine for 14 days upon arrival. A lot of people come into this region and they could literally bring the infection with them. New York was once the epicenter of the U.S. outbreak, but recently numbers there have dropped and the state has been easing strict coronavirus restrictions. The list of states subject to the travel advisory includes several setting records for new daily cases, like California, which is now reporting more than 7,000 new infections, and Florida, one of the first states to reopen, confirming more than 5,500 new cases Wednesday. Cases also soaring in Texas, the state's Republican governor recommending that Texans stay home as much as possible. State health officials there warning COVID-19 is spreading in Texas at its fastest rate yet. Nationwide, the U.S. recording its second largest increase in coronavirus cases since the health crisis began in early March, with nearly 36,000 infections on Tuesday, pushing the total number of confirmed cases closer to 2.4 million. The known death toll is more than 121,000. The U.S. has the worst known outbreak in the world by far. And looking at the bigger picture, the World Health Organization saying Wednesday it expects the total number of cases globally to hit 10 million next week. As for that new travel quarantine order in those three northeast states, what happens if visitors break the rules? Well, New York's governor says first-time offenders could face a fine of up to $1,000, repeat offenders up to five grand. The new rules, by the way, take effect as of midnight local time. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.